guys, we're actually finished with our um, checkup and that muffin. Um, so I'm just waiting for my Uber and right. She seems so out of it. And then hopefully I could get home and explain to you guys exactly how things went. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have muffin with me over here, and I'm just gonna put her to my table I have over here and I'm just going to talk about how our vet appointment went just a small uh, you know a very small update um, I don't have much footage of me going there simply because um, I wasn't allowed into the room um, because of COVID so my concerns with Muffin um, was that she had a wound on the back of her crest I'll try having pictures initially it was kind of red and then it became like a dark purple color and then it disappeared but I at that time I already booked my appointment so I was like I'm still gonna take her to the vet because just for a general checkup um, and then I kind of talked about um, a few other concerns I had with my vet but basically that was the main reason I went because she had like a wound on her crest like behind her crest um, she has a bald spot that's because of her mutation um, so yeah um, we were we went there and then I made sure I had water because I didn't know how long Muffin was going to wait inside. And I also had fresh food for her. Um, other than that, um, they were very professional. I love my vets. I mean, they're great, great people. They're great vets. Um, the staff is marvelous. I really, really enjoyed their company. So they were, I, I, didn't, I wasn't really surprised. I mean, I knew the services were just going to be equally good so yeah we went um i then waited i mean a staff member came um and then they took muffin and i'll have a clip right now to show you guys that um and then um I waited for them to call. I actually missed their call because I didn't have my ringtone and I completely dozed off. It wasn't because they were taking too long. It was actually because it was very hot and I was like mm, kind of sleepy. So I dozed off and I didn't have my ringtone um, at peak volume. So I missed it. And then I called back. I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. Um, and yeah, so uh, I saw Dr. Noor. Well, I didn't see her. I spoke to her and then... She was kind of telling me of, you know, her condition and how she's doing. Actually, I had a paper. Let me open it. Um, so, basically, uh, we got um, Muffin's nails done. Um, and then I got Harrison pellets. Now, the reason is because I'm always on Harrison's. I really like Harrison's. Most of my birds really enjoy Harrison's, which is very important to me. But I live in Canada, so there was a lot of issues with... Um, Harrison's being out of stock and I thought I had a good supply I had like five packs of them because I bulk buy and then I use them and then whenever they're finished and then I order it again but then it, there was a lot of issues so I got rowdy bush um just to supplement them in between and then I was telling my um uh, Dr. Noor pretty much my vet saying that hey you know they're on rowdy bush but they're not supposed to be on rowdy bush they're typically on Harrison's but I was explaining them the issues I was having and she said hey we have a supply of Harrison pellets would you want some so I got two Harrison's um I get I get the lifetime fine um I also get um I tried the super fine, but my budgies don't really have an issue with it. So I got two of these from my vets. And then this is just the paper. I'm not going to show much of it. So it, it was 151 I mean, vets are expensive. I was just wondering how, many, how much she weighed. She's actually 80 grams. I wonder what her initial, um, not initial, but her last appointment, how much she weighed. Because I forgot that. I'll have it somewhere here. Um, I typically... I typically keep note of their weight um, so she's 80 grams now I don't know it seems like she might have lost a little bit maybe I think she's around 85 86 but I'll keep I'll have a note over here somewhere saying how much she initially weighed I mean from our last appointment so maybe I'll keep a track on that but other than that she got her nails done everything's well the thing behind her crest is completely healed I also talked about muffin having smelly poops 
um, droppings and what Dr. Noor told me that because um, Muffin already pooped on I had like a tissue so let me show it to you guys this is their tissue actually I have um, a tissue at the bottom of the carrier um, but this is kind of their tissue I had my own and she told me that because Muffin pooped I think two or three times she said that the poop actually looked well so that was the issue I was having the poop her poops would smell and they would be very large and it have a very sour order to it and I was telling her hey I'm concerned about that can you tell me what you think about it and she was basically telling me how um, cockatiels and I think this is what other birds as well their poop will start smelling sour when they're hormonal um, or when they're close to laying eggs um, muffin hasn't laid any eggs and I'm hoping it's just a case of her hormones kind of getting all iffy and stuff because she said the poop itself like the way it was formed so I could do another video on poop formation I guess I don't know how else to word it her poops are healthy looking they just smell but she said she was not concerned about it and um, she said she because Dr. Noor also has um, cockatiels of her own and she said that I have it too some birds actually will have it all the time it, like their poops will always smell and there's really not much you could do about it but in her case there would be on and off so she she was telling me how she thinks it was it was more of a case of her being hormonal and then kind of having a break from that and then getting hormonal again and in the future this might be very important for me to keep track of because hormones are just bound to happen but we don't want to also encourage that behavior and i definitely don't want her to be laying eggs because that's a massive issue with cockatiels i don't want that but everything else was fine um she she got her beak kind of cleaned up and then her nails she asked me if i wanted the nails um clipped i don't know i think typically they charge extra for the nails Oh, well, they didn't charge me. Typically, they do. So, I just if you have a general vet visit, it's kind of in with it. But if you if you just take them for nail clippings and stuff, I think it's 15, 20 bucks. But, so yeah, I think that was already done. Just part of the general checkup process. So, her nails are also clipped, which I'm happy about because I was getting scratched a bit. And, yeah, that's all. I just wanted to make a small update for you guys. Also kind of not related to muffin i know a lot of you guys are asking me about cookie and i'm very grateful for the kind messages you guys are sending me and i am keeping an eye out but no no um from that end i don't have much news um for cookie um but yeah this is about muffin and muffin is doing very well so yeah uh, she's enjoying the sun because the sun's hitting her it from this direction but i hope you guys enjoyed this video it was a quick one um i'm hoping it's a quick one i'm not gonna really do much editing on this video but yeah that was a small update i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you for watching guys Bye bye